Welcome to DTV. I'm Daniel Valenzuela, Phoenix Vice Mayor. We are here at Grand Canyon University, one of the fastest growing universities in the entire Southwest. And the growth of GCU is helping to cement the reputation for Phoenix as being the mecca for higher education institutions. And Phoenix is also very quickly becoming the mecca for entrepreneurship. Yes, Phoenix. I'm here with Gabriel Cornejo, the CEO of My Beeble, one of our local entrepreneurs. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. It's been an honor to have this opportunity to speak with you and the rest of Phoenix. Uh, you know, now Gabriel is here at GCU, uh, but your product can work for any university. Yeah, exactly. Right? You know what I've created? I've created a way for students to buy and sell with each other all of their books uh, because we do price comparisons of many online bookstores, but more importantly, we've given individuals the ability to find each other at a local level mm -hmm. so that way they can buy and sell and save money and make more money and then form an academic-based network. So My Beeble is a simple app, correct, that you can get on your phone or it your is, computer? It is. It is. We're available presently on the iOS market, which means that we're available on the iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, and we're working diligently to get on Android as well, just for the fall. Okay, so now I have an app on my phone. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to purchase some books or I want to sell books. What do I do? How does this work? Yeah, simple enough. The way that we operate is we're based on geographic location. So if you have the book physically, you can scan the ISBN, which is on the back of the book, or you can type in the title, author, ISBN, and conduct the search in that way. And what we do is we compile those search results within your search radius over your search radius in case there are students selling it across the country that want to ship it to you or from the various options like Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Chegg and the like. Now one of the reasons we do want to support Gabriel is first of all he is one of our entrepreneurs right here in Phoenix but the bottom line is you're saving people money. Absolutely. You know what we find is that because we are centralized in the marketplace and we're giving students the opportunity to find full transparency that we're actually driving down the cost of books. Uh, because most of us know what the experience of going through the bookstore is like. You're limited on your choices, and the prices that are set aren't necessarily the price of what that value of that book actually is. Mm -hmm. So on the buying side, you're paying way too much. But because we've centralized the marketplace, you've got all the options, you're actually seeing that there's considerable savings. Mm -hmm. And on the selling side of things, yeah. it works just as well because now you've got more options to sell to as well. So you're actually able to sell it for a higher price Sell well. it for more than you would have gotten from the bookstore. Which is, I mean, every cent counts when you're a student. Absolutely, right? and what we've discovered is that because when you buy and sell with another student, often you're in the same major, which means that now, if I buy from you, you probably just finished the class I'm about to start. Now the opportunity for me to ask for your notes, add you as friends, and ask for help in the middle of the semester exists because it's important to have that academic-based network while you're in school and when you're done yeah. as well. Now, Gabriel, I have to ask, yeah. the logo, why the logo? It's a monkey. Yeah. It's a great logo. Tell me about yeah, it. Yeah, you know what? We recently made that change because we felt it was important to express the communal aspect. So monkeys by nature are very communal, but also yeah. there's this 100th monkey theory. I don't know if you've heard of it, but the way that it works is that as soon as you reach a certain critical mass mm -hmm. that not only do the people that knew about it initially learn this new behavior, uh, suddenly the whole populace knows. And the interesting part about the 100th monkey theory is that it transcends physical location. So essentially the idea is that there's a conscious shift where the, there's a new behavior amongst the entire population. And we're trying to accomplish that by shaping the marketplace to mm -hmm. be what was often a seller's marketplace yeah. to a buyer's marketplace. Now Gabriel, I have to also ask, the, my Beeble, right? The, the title of it, it's a great story. Share that with us. Yeah, you know what? So when I was younger, I had a cousin that's my exact age, and he could not say Gabriel. He was challenged by it. So he called me Beeble. And so to this day, my mother still calls me Beeble. So it's an homage to my mother, My Beeble. If there weren't enough reasons to like you, that's a great story. And I love that you, that's a homage to your mother. You, you know, she's, she's an inspiration for yeah. me. And this is the reason why I have the work ethic to make this a reality, not just for my benefit, but yeah. for the benefit of as many people as I can possibly right. help. Check out my Beeble. I do want to also mention that Gabriel is an alum from Seedspot, one of our great incubators led by Courtney Klein, 
So it's great that we have all of this talent staying right here in Phoenix. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks to Seed Spot and thanks to everyone else who is helping to support this idea. Yeah. Uh, it's a great one. Certainly. I enjoyed my time with Seed Spot and I recommend if you get a chance, come check them out. I know that uh, they're going to be doing demo days pretty regularly, so have a look. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Of course. I appreciate it. Thank you.